Hello my loves and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I thought I would start my bridal series. I can't believe 2017 is already here, which only means 2018 is just around the corner. And being a hair enthusiast that I am, I literally have about 500 hairstyles in mind for my wedding day and obviously I can't do them all in one day so I'm gonna start this bridal series just to kind of give myself an idea as to what hairstyle I would like and maybe help give you if you're a bride-to-be or attending a wedding sometime soon hopefully this will help give you some kind of idea as to what you would like to do for that special day so for this first hairstyle I decided to go with a very simple bun updo my fiance and I are gravitating more towards a destination wedding and with destination weddings that brings humidity, frizz, and a whole lot of afro curl. So to kind of tame my hair for this big special day to make sure that my pictures all come out beautiful in the way that I would like them to, I thought I would try maybe kind of like a simple messy updo bun. Let me know what you guys think of this hairstyle down in the comment section below and let's kind of just jump into this video. <laughs> Okay, so I'm starting this tutorial off with freshly washed and straightened hair and I'm going to be using my Caramel Blonde 230 gram set of Foxy Lux extensions. And for the beginning of this hairstyle, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start sectioning off small sections of hair around the frame of my face, leaving the crown section of my hair out. And then I'm going to gather all the hair at the crown of my head and I'm going to pull it up into a ponytail where I would like my bun to sit. So depending on how high or low you would like your bun to be, this is where you're kind of going to get an idea of where you would like to place it. So once the hair at the crown of my head is secured with an elastic band, I'm going to go back into the pieces of hair that I have sectioned out in front of my face and I'm just going to gently tease it with a brush. So you can tease your hair literally with any brush. A lot of people use a teasing comb, but I find that anything that has boar bristles will really do the job. So once the hair is teased, that's it. We're done. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna keep going. So I'm just gonna gently brush out the front of my hair just to make sure you don't brush out all the volume from the teasing. And then I'm just going to gently grab small sections of hair and kind of pin it just beside the ponytail that I've created with the hair sectioned at the crown of my head. And then I'm gonna gently start pulling out pieces that I would like to frame my face and then just bobby pin all the hair into place. Now when doing this hairstyle, please make sure that you have stocked up on bobby pins because honestly it takes a lot. I find that any updo or messy bun just takes a lot of bobby pins and for some reason I thought I had like a fresh pack of bobby pins but that was a lie. I literally had like seven so I had to be very careful with how I was pinning my bobby pins into place. That sounded like a tongue twister. So again, just grabbing random sections of hair and then wrapping it around the ponytail base and then pinning it into place. And then you can also pull on each strands of hair just to give you a little bit more volume at the crown. And this helps to give you like a very loose and messy bun look once we have completed. So again, with the same thing at the back of our head, this part is a little bit more difficult and I found like I struggled a little bit without having like a mirror being able to see in the back of my head, but I noticed once the hairstyle is done, you can always fix the back of your head. So grab those little pieces of hair and pin it up towards the base of the bun and then go back in and kind of pull in little pieces, pin any pieces that you may need. So to create a, a voluminous bun, I grabbed two wefts from my Foxy Locks extension set and I'm going to use the two two clip wefts and I'm just going to clip it around the base of the ponytail. And this just adds a little bit of extra length and volume for the messy bun that we will be creating. 
So for the base of the bun, I just kind of took this little donut roll. I'm not really sure where I got it from. I have so many of these and I honestly could not tell you where each one of them is from. But I just grabbed my little donut bun, pinned it to my head with hairpins, and then grabbed the ponytail of hair that I pulled through the bun and just wrapped it around my hair. Now because my hair is a lot shorter than the extensions, I did have to stop as I was going along with wrapping the hair around my bun with wrapping the hair and pin all my natural hair to the base of the bun just to make sure that I didn't have any layers that stuck out. And then just keep wrapping the hair until you have run out of hair and keep pinning everything in place as much as possible. Then I grabbed my, I think it's a one inch or one and a half inch curling iron and I just started to curl the pieces of hair that framed the front of my face just to give it a little bit more of an elegant look. And then I started to notice that I had a bunch of baby hairs in the back that were sticking out and layers that were sticking out of my bun. So I just went back in and started to curl those pieces with my curling iron just to give it a more messy, boho, cohesive look with all the curls all the way around. And then I played around with it just a little bit more, making sure to pin any hairs that I did not like. And that was it. And that is it. That is honestly all I did to create this hairstyle. And now if you are going to attempt this hairstyle, I strongly recommend buying a brand new pack of bobby pins. Don't sit there like me and think, oh, I have a million bobby pins. I don't need any more. No, I thought I had a ton of bobby pins. But when I looked in my little bobby pin container, I realized I had about seven. And this hairstyle required a lot of bobby pins and a lot of hair pins. So make sure you stock up on some bobby pins, hair pins, hair ties, and I obviously used my Foxy Locks extensions to gain a little bit of volume for this hairstyle. Now I'm really liking the way that it turned out. I feel like it would be perfect for like a winter wedding or again, if you're going to be on a beach for a wedding. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys thought of this hair tutorial. And remember to give this video a big thumbs up. I honestly have no idea what I'm gonna be calling this bridal series. I'm still thinking about it and that is it i will see you guys in next week's video i love you guys so much bye